Hi, I'm Laura Hoy for Benzinga, and here's a look at what you can expect from the markets today, Thursday, November 21st. On Wednesday, FOMC minutes showed a more optimistic view of the U.S.'s economic progress than most had been expecting. The U.S. Central Bank's October meeting minutes showed that several central bankers were considering shifting their focus more towards forward guidance rather than asset purchases, and were also considering tapering at one of the next upcoming meetings. On Thursday, the Bank of Japan elected to continue with its accommodative monetary policies as was widely expected. The bank is working to build up to 2% inflation over the next two years through an aggressive asset purchase program. Talks between Western leaders and Iranian officials over Iran's disputed nuclear program are heading into their second day with guarded optimism. A U.S. official said he's hopeful for a breakthrough, however striking a deal will be a difficult undertaking. Janet Yellen will be taking one step closer to becoming the next leader of the U.S. Federal Reserve today as her nomination will be put to a vote at the Senate Banking Committee. The vote is expected to pass her nomination without difficulty. China's HSBC flash manufacturing PMI came in below expectations at 50.4. Although the reading is still above the 50-point mark, which indicates expansion, it showed slowing momentum from last month's reading of 50.9. Asian markets were mostly lower on Thursday. The South Korean KOSPI was down by 1.16%, the Hang Seng Index fell 0.51%, and China's Shenzhen Composite was down by 0.41%. Only the Japanese Nikkei posted gains up 1.92%. European markets also stumbled on Thursday. The UK's FTSE was moderately higher, up 0.10%, but the Eurozone Stock 600 lost 0.17%. The German DAX was down by 0.25%, and France's CAC 40 was down by 0.45%. In commodity markets, energy futures were slightly lower, with Brent futures down 0.11%, and WTI futures down by 0.07%. Gold lost 0.78% and silver was down by 0.24%. Industrial metals were also lower with aluminum posting the largest losses down 0.72%. In currency markets, the euro traded steadily at $1.34 and the pound lost 0.07% against the greenback. The dollar gained 0.84% against the yen and 0.77% against the Australian dollar. Several large retailers are set to release earnings on Thursday, including GameStop, Abercrombie & Fitch, Target, and Gap. Notable economic releases on Thursday will include Consumer Confidence, Manufacturing PMI, PPI, and Initial and Continuing Jobless Claims from the U.S., and British Mortgage Approvals. And that's it for today's Market Primer. I'm Laura Hoy for Benzingo, wishing all of you good luck on your Thursday trades.